Founders are asking city leaders to step up and make some changes. They're concerned about the safety and well-being of the downtown area. Valley News Team's Katie Opperly explains what's wrong and what they feel has made matters worse. A lot of work has gone into filling downtown Fargo with shops, restaurants and bars for people to enjoy. But those who work there and have businesses say that dangerous activity is driving people away. Either drunk people or people like under the influence as well as a lot of fighting and like yelling. Business owners are struggling to make customers feel welcome and safe when their businesses are already suffering economic devastation. The Downtown Community Partnership says a lack of social service resources since the pandemic began and changes in open container ordinances have led to more trouble like fighting and harassment. We're hearing over and over again from our customers their concerns about this and that they think twice before bringing their children downtown with them. People didn't have a place to go. They didn't have a place for public bathrooms. Um, they didn't have a place to go during the day to get a warm cup of coffee or a hot meal. And so we saw a greater presence of people lacking those resources and, you know, turning to vices. Dan's has some suggestions, social services and resources for people who need it most. The people and bars that contribute to these issues to be held accountable and ordinances that allow police to act. Making sure that um, the city continues to fund social services for those who need it most and put housing as a priority. And with that, we would also like to see a day center. We can't move the problem down the street or to another part of town. We're not going to arrest our way out of these concerns, and we need to have humane conversation that leads to solutions. Nicole Crutchfield, the city's director of planning and development, says needed help for many of the homeless downtown were lost during COVID. However, the focus seems to be getting those services restored. For the businesses, the sooner the better. In Fargo, Katie Opperly, Valley News Live. Crutchfield says they'll be getting together with police on Wednesday to further the efforts.